Okay, this will be fun. Today I've decided to be more specific about the style of skating I engage in when I'm at my most intense. I'm renaming my demon skating, beast skating mode, and I'm calling it assault skating. Assault skating is skating through the city with maximum intensity, force, and fluidity. Assault skaters absorb and leverage the features of a city. It's not about imposing a style on a landscape, it's about learning from it. Assault skaters use only the techniques which are most relevant to enhancing mobility and flow. Artifice and affectations have zero place in a full-out city skate. What the skater wants must be discarded and replaced with what the city needs. Out here on the real urban landscape, it's adapt or die. Number one, listen to the city, flow as it flows. For longer moments of sheer perfection, the assault skater must listen to what works and admit to what is useless. If you want to slip through the city like Quicksilver, you must absorb its shapes and feel its footholds with your very being. Number two, an assault skater must skate the city with venom and intensity. Having wheels on your feet is fun and cute, but being sharp and fast as fuck is what these skates are made for. Mobility is the inline skater's unfair advantage. Number three, assault skaters study other skating disciplines and are ruthless about what they discard or take from them. Dedicate your time to the moves that will make you more controlled and explosive, agile and safe. Fancy is the enemy of function. Be aware of any stylistic embellishments that do not emerge from the city or from within yourself. Number four, an assault skater feels fear and conquers it. Cars, pedestrians, and the many unknown elements of an assault skate must be respected. Fear can be converted into excitement and then fascination. Choosing your route, your line, and anticipating what moving objects could or might do is a very real game within assault skating. Open your eyes, what can you see around? Wind of the open sky Over the siren sound This is a dream, getting the royal scar Holding a diamond blade Throwing it far Number five, 
do things that make you scared. Every time you unlock a personal challenge, you unlock parts of the city and yourself that you've never seen. Something like knowing you can jump down five stairs makes all lesser drops seem easy and presents many more uninterrupted routes to you in the city. Salt skaters skate spontaneously. Roots can be great for practice or recreation, but a real assault skater goes on tangents, rampaging through the streets of the city until the red mist lifts and the lungs are screaming. Number seven, assault skaters prefer street skating to sidewalk skating. We do not endanger pedestrians. An assault skater knows his place is not among lumbering flat-footed fleshlings. We're traveling fast enough to be dangerous to others. Only a coward risks the lives of unwitting bystanders. Of course, there's times when a big empty sidewalk is just a beautiful place to roll if you stay away from the doorways. But with people, really, that's fun? Don't fucking get it. I really don't. So much of that lately, it's killing me. When I was not around, certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds. More when I was not around, certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds. More when I was not around, certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds. Number eight. Assault skating cannot always be pretty, sometimes it has to be ugly. When you're skating with intensity, shit comes at you fast. Sometimes you're just trying to get through those tricky foot puzzles without falling. These forced, ineloquent, scrambled little steps can enhance foot speed in later sequences. When you're in full rampage, there are no redos. Number nine, assault skaters develop deep knowledge of their urban assault course. They know where the people aren't, they map out challenges throughout their territories, and they find the smoothest routes within the roughest roads. Your mobility and imagination will determine your environment. Number 10, assault skaters seek the worst conditions and are inquisitive texture rollers. Practice and conquer every common surface, defect and rollable feature you see in the city. Do this and you'll be ready for anything. So if you've noticed my videos are getting better and more frequent, that's because of Pro Skaters Place and their incredible sponsorship of this channel. Everything I'm wearing today, the helmet, the knee pads that you can't see, and the skates, of course, the Adapt Hyper Skate GTO are from Pro Skaters Place. Check them on the link below.
Number 11. Assault skaters know when to rest. Skating on spent, clumsy legs is not nearly as exciting as skating in perfect, energetic bursts. Sometimes you'll coast and recover, or maybe just reserve your efforts with a little less intensity. And sometimes you just have to slam on your brakes to let your legs and brain catch up to your skates. Number 12. Assault skaters like it rough. They look to break limits and they know that there is a price to pay. They know they have to fall to progress. Choices and stopping ability are the most important safety mechanisms for the assault skater, but pads offer real protection and unreal confidence. Yeah, that part can be a problem. But yes, a fast, rough assault skate should include some pads and a helmet. In a chilled city skate, I might do otherwise. You know me. So, those are the 12 laws of my sport, assault skating. It's been around forever, but people seem to want to call it wreck skating or something. Anybody who calls it wreck skating should come out with me for one of these. I'd wreck their day. Their egos. As far as my look when I'm assault skating, I want to look like I was trained by special forces and ninjas, not Cirque du Soleil or ice capades. But more than any look, it's about how I feel. The power coursing through my body, the fluidity of movement, and the little sequences that require my full attention and imagination. It all puts me into this vortex where the whole world becomes a blur except for what's directly in front of me. Assault with a Shredly Weapon. Stay low.